Hi, Coach Huber here. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're talking about uh, the formula for a championship hitting team. If you study and research long and hard enough, you'll begin to find out that there is a formula for success. Coaches who know the formulas and are able to build their team around the productivity of the formula are usually the best coaches who can get their team to play at championship levels consistently. Most baseball coaches know that building their pitching and defense is the key. This is accurate, but then all the focus goes there, and the offense is usually left out of the formula, and the team usually suffers because of this. Once you know formulas of success, the key then is telling your players and then game planning on how to achieve the success that lies within the formula. From an offensive standpoint, the formula can be seen in statistics. This is what the movie Moneyball is all about. If you looked at the offensive conference statistics for team batting at the collegiate level, let's say, you'll notice that the top two or three teams in each conference in America also have the best hitting stats. The stats that speak volume and create the formula are as follows. Number one, the team that hits 300 or higher in their team batting average at the college level usually is in the top one, two, or three in their conference. In high school, it's a little bit different. They're usually around the 320 mark, and uh, professionals, it's lower because they play more games, and that's usually at the 270 mark or higher. Number two, if you look at the collegiate statistics in America, their slugging percentage it is at least 115 points higher than their team batting average. Usually, a team that slugs near or around or over the 450 mark is a team that's leading their conference. And this is true for travel and professional ball, too. They're 115 points higher than the team batting average. And number three, championship teams usually hit a home run every other game on average. So if you look at the statistics, the home run is hit every other game. Home runs provide more runs, obviously, and add, and add uh, a significant amount of energy to the team's offense. Research tells you that the top teams always have all three of the formula stats on their side. Usually if a team has only one of two or two of three of the stats that I just provided, they're usually middle of the pack team. Teams that have none of these stats are near last place almost all of the time. Once you know the formula, the difficult part is building your team around the formula. This means a game plan on how to get your team to win within the formula. This usually means an upgrade in your player's intelligence, ability, and especially training, because you're going to need a training program that works within the confines of this offensive formula that I just gave you. For most coaches and players, this means change, and most coaches are not willing to change, so they rely more on recruiting, luck, talent, um, and maybe their game plan of trying to get good pitchers on the mound, or what have you. Uh, this formula is consistent in travel ball, high school, and professional baseball. And if the offensive formula is met with good pitching and defense in place, then the team will always compete for a championship. If the pitching is superior, the offense hits within the framework of the formula, then the team is usually dominant. That's our talk for today. Uh, for more on the formula and how to train within the formula, please head to my website. We'll see you next time.